Delta, Radar Contact, 3 miles east from the McCall Airport. Tacman altimeter 2907, say altitude leaving. And verify climate at 9,500. 2907, leaving 2,000, going 9,500, Fortuny Delta. While managing the project. So, you know, it comes to, it comes down to, uh, well, first of all, I want to make the point about flow, right? Some people call it karma, but it's, it's, uh, you know, the Jews for years have called it flow. Put your money and your, and your time into things that don't help people, then I think that you have greater risk of those things going bad. Okay, we're going for takeoff mode. So, this is just my busy time. I'm really glad you closed the door during the takeoff. <laughs> no Doors are all that. shut. Full power coming in. Everything's in the green. We got 70 knots, we're gonna let her just fly off. Report Charlie Delta, radar contact three miles east from McClellan Airport. Document altimeter 2907, say altitude leaving. And verify climate at 9 or 1500. 2907, leave at 2000, going 9500, Fort Charlie Delta. Fort Charlie Delta, right. Ray 374, Quebec radar contact. Boxer 1572, contact Major Tower 120.65. So, one of the things I thought we'd talk about today, it's kind of interesting, I have a friend that worked for the Secret Service. He actually uh, helped protect President Bush. Yeah, but how do you know he worked for the Secret Service? That's a good good question. Said he did. Probably, probably wasn't a very good uh, at keeping Secret. secrets. <laughs> so, um, when he was protecting the president, if there was an emergency, he would say, get down, get down. The Secret Service isn't allowed to say that under the current administration. Now, if there's an emergency, they say, Donald Duck. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that's really funny. That's <laughs> does, some good stuff. Did that clack you up? You were talking about risk. One of the things that we do uh, for risk on our instructing of clients is uh, we use a system called Riskalyze that evaluates the risk. It puts a number on every investment from 1 to 100. 100 super risky and a 1 is no risk, like your money sitting in your bank account. Although I'd argue there's some risk to money sitting in your bank account, but you know what I mean. It doesn't go up and down. Definitely a lot of inflation risk keeping your money in the bank account. Uh, yeah. But one of the ways I look at that, I, I always think about... Um, Maybe because I, I worked at Denny's uh, while I was going to UC Number Davis. Niner, Tango November, contact open center. Uh, one, so, three, yeah, I was so proud three, of my, my Denny's one, time. Three, two, point you know, two, I had, uh, November. you know, the first month I, I worked there, I I was a busser. The second month I was a server. The third month I was a night manager. The fourth month I said, what the heck am I doing here? And got the heck out. But, um, uh, but I always think about food sitting on the counter dying. You know, just sitting up there, and the heat lamp's on it, and it's just, it's just slowly making it kind of gnarly, and uh, and you know, so so when that money's just sitting in the bank account, not doing anything, uh, not being put to work, uh, it just it's it's just dying on the counter. I like that analogy. Yeah, and it also, if I think about that, then I'm not as hungry. <laughs> how, how important is it that uh, uh, to uh, to your clients is it that you put your money where your mouth is? That you, oh, very, very important. So, so typically, before how do you deal with that, before I even uh, will put a client's money in an investment, I do it myself first. Yeah, definitely, it's important that Direct Derby Delta I need to be doing whatever I'm suggesting. I've always felt that understanding that basically that that, that risk is about. Uh, understanding the downside. So the more knowledge you have of that particular uh, investment, that whether it's a uh, it's a category uh, in real estate, it could be a real estate specific real estate asset class. No. Understanding the the specific downside and identifying that downside, and by by knowing whether or not you know if you can weather that downside and you're comfortable with that downside, then. Um, you know, there's kind of the, the saying that the upside will take care of itself. But I think if if it's a good, solid investment, and because of whatever uh, different types of things happen, 
uh, whether it's economy or market conditions or, you know, so, so that downside comes. But, uh, but then because of the uh, supply and demand of that particular investment, the upside's just going to, uh, when things turn around, just, you know, be uh, worth that downside risk. So for me, risk is a lot about, uh, it's just understanding your worst case scenario. Are you okay with it? I love what you say about that. Because one of our words for the year has been, one of our words for the year has been education. Um, but then if you, if, if someone like Warren Buffett says, well, what should most people do? He'll just say, well, put it in a, the S&P 500, put it in a diversified fund. And really what he's saying is that not, not everyone's suited to go out there and do the type of research and get the gain, the knowledge yep. and put in the time or, or, you know, even have the time to put in the time to do, you know, so, um, we have a whole group that researches 24 seven. Yeah. So the, the average person can't Every be expected to do that. Roger. All right. What are we doing? What, uh, what's our altitude? Uh, what are we, at? So where we're, are we going to? We're at 9,500. I think we're going to stay here. We're uh, from Truckee, we're only 30 miles out. We're trying to listen for the ATIS there. I don't have it, but I can listen, um, or I can look on my four flight here and get an idea of what the weather's going to be. What's our speed? Uh, ground speed right now is 183 knots, so we have a little bit of a tailwind. Yeah, if you could, if you could pick it up to at least 185, I'd appreciate it. You'd be happier. It. What has been your biggest challenge uh, this year? With uh, your company, or with uh, investing, or finding finding investments, or probably the biggest challenge was the the surprise from the Federal Reserve dropping interest rates. You know, I kind of thought that we were heading more for a slowdown in the economy and an adjustment in the stock market, to at least a breather or a little bit of a a downturn, and uh, the opposite's kind of happened now with the Fed dropping rates. So any. Uh, what, uh, why do you think that they did that? I think that they just saw that uh, with the trade war and everything that our economy might need a little bit of a boost. How, how high above these mountains are we? We'll be a little, st over, little over 1,000 feet, 1,000 to 1,500 feet up here. That's why I'm, I'm hedging left a little bit, just to give us plenty of clearance. Some of the golf courses we're going to play that we're going to dominate. Truckee Tower, Sierra 744, July Delta left hand down, one, two, nine. Here's Fort Charlie Delta, runway 29 or clear to land. Clear to land, 29 or thank you, Fort Charlie Delta. Uh, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, annual uh, golf fundraiser, Northern California versus Southern California. Full flaps coming in. Uh, landing, I like it. Yeah, I know you like low and fast. Yeah, better tell somebody. Report Charlie Delta, radar contact three miles east from McClellan Airport. Document altimeter 2997, say altitude leaving and verify climbing to 9,500. 2997, leaving 2000, going 9,500. Report Charlie Delta. 